think as business owners, we um, many of us um, especially get excited by the big idea. Uh, yeah. We expect one or two tactics is going to deliver success, and we realise that it doesn't. And yeah. so many people give up because the reality is we're playing a long-term game. Yes. So um, that's the reality. And I, I, I think that typically most entrepreneurs don't fall in love with the process of their big idea either. They actually um, fall in love with the idea and what they're doing, but they actually don't double down on process and systems. Yeah. And yeah. what you've described to me is a very long-term game where you actually had a whole range of tactics and you said the tactics themselves maybe weren't important, but the fact that I played a long, persistent game of marketing exactly. uh, relent relentlessly, that's what it sounds like to, that to me. Is that correct? That's correct. The other thing I really want to emphasize is assets. And I talk to uh, with my coaching clients, we talk a lot about building marketing assets. So here's the thing, like people in financial services, they understand this really well. Like if, if I own a house, I can rent that out for uh, rental income. If I own stocks, I, I get dividend income. And so that's because I own an asset and I derive income from that asset. And the exact same thing is true of marketing. If you have a marketing asset, you can derive new leads, new prospects, new clients from that. Now, in the absence of having a, a marketing asset or multiple marketing assets, you're going to have to replace that with time, effort, pushing, cold calling, all of those sorts of things. So I'll give you an example in our business. Um, uh, if I had to wake up every morning and do 20 cold calls, I would hate my life, right? Yeah. That's not what I want to be doing. Um, instead, I get to open my email inbox and I see, hey, we sold a whole bunch of courses overnight. Hey, somebody's joined my certification program. Someone's interested in coaching or whatever. So we get a lot of leads inbound. Why? Not because we're uh, anything super special or anything crazy or some crazy marketing technique. No, it's because we have assets that are working for us. So the book, for example, uh, people read the book, they send in, uh, uh, you know, some portion of, of them um, join one of our programs or ask to join one of our, our programs. And so that generates a lot of lead flow. So if you don't have assets in your business, you're going to have to replace that with time, money, effort, advertising, all of those sorts of things, which are difficult and expensive and getting more difficult and getting more expensive. So one of the things I really... Uh, encourage all of my clients to do is to build marketing assets in their business. Uh, very, very powerful concept. So income comes from assets and that absolutely applies to marketing.